As soon as I get to America, I'm going to commit massive voter fraud. That's right. I'm gonna get three million of my amigos together and we're just gonna do it. Then I'm gonna take jobs from hardworking Americans. Yes, first the farm jobs, then the factory jobs, and then f it. I'll get into a graduate program to affirmative action, and I'm gonna take the lawyer jobs, and the doctor jobs, and the aerospace engineer jobs. But then I'm gonna be too lazy to work, so I'm gonna leave off the American taxpayer. What is up, guys? Tyson Della Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Some Kamala Harris and Waltz supporters in Sewsbury recently received mysterious postcards in the mail thanking them for their support and telling them to prepare to host migrant families. Shout out to everybody watching. Drop your comments down below. Smash the like button. And uh, if you're new, let me know where you're watching this out of. I like seeing where everybody's watching this out of. So um, mailers were apparently sent to residents who had displayed Harrison Walsh yard signs in attempt to confuse them <laughs> or intimidate them. This is this is a hilarious story. Uh, the postcard read, we're so appreciative of you putting out a yard sign, but now you need, we need your continued help. Uh, some spaces were left blank and later filled out in handwriting. One resident posted an image of the card on Reddit and it was filled out to tell that to tell the recipient that they would start hosting a family of four from Belize on November 3rd, two days before the election. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, this all comes because, uh, you know, these illegal migrants are getting a lot of benefits for uh, crossing the border. Meanwhile, over in Massachusetts, Governor Maura Healey declaring a state of emergency due to emergency shelters there reaching capacity with migrants. Officials say there are almost 5,600 families and over 20,000 individuals in Bay State shelters. This is 80% higher than this time last year. Governor Healey's administration is now asking Massachusetts residents to help with the crisis. If you have an extra room or suite in your home, please consider hosting a family. Safe housing and shelter is our most pressing need. Become a sponsor family. You can contact the Brazilian Worker Center for more information on how you can step up if you're willing to have an additional family be part of your family. In the governor's letter to the federal government on Tuesday, she stated that the crisis is currently costing the state of Massachusetts $45 million per month on programs to assist the families. So house illegal migrants. Hey, we need your support. Um, please house an illegal migrant family. Uh, not in my house. I don't know about you guys, but if they're... No, not in my house. It's not happening in my house. I don't even allow guests to come over that are saying that they're going to come into Vegas for a few days uh, simply because I like my space. But um, that's selfishly. But let me know what you guys think. Would you guys house in an uh, illegal migrant family, specifically if they came across the border illegally? Um, no, no, no bueno for me, papi. No bueno for me. Here's the lady that, here's one of the ladies that received the postcard. Um, she re remains anonymous, uh, probably because she didn't feel like being trolled. I put a lawn sign in my front yard, and I don't think I should be subjected to these fraudulent mailers. When this 50-year-old Shrewsbury woman put up a Harris Wall sign in front of her home, she just wanted to show her support. She never imagined she would be subjected to a campaign dirty trick. It really creeped me out. She was dismayed when the mail arrived this week, and she received this postcard. It purports to be from the Harris campaign, thanking her for putting up a sign and alerting her a family from Nicaragua would be moving into her home. That's when I realized it was an obvious attempt to try to either scare me or rage bait me and make me upset. It's absolutely a scare tactic. Suffolk, you I put a lawn sign in my... <laughs> I don't know who did this, but... It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, man. Here is the news coverage on this on CBS News. 
Boston. New tonight, a voter in Shrewsbury thought she was getting a postcard from the Harris campaign. But when she flipped it over, she was shocked to see what appeared to be a notice that a migrant family was moving into her home. WBZ's Brenna Truitt reports. The woman we spoke with says she doesn't know who sent her this, but she believes it was mailed to her to shake her up. This is tensions around this campaign cycle are proving pervasive for most Americans. It's really sad that the country has come to this point where you can't put a lawn sign out and support a candidate without being harassed with something like this. This Shrewsbury resident doesn't want to be identified, but says she got this postcard in the mail Monday. Why do you think you were sent that? Because I have a lawn sign. At first glance, it looks like a Kamala Harris pamphlet. The message on the back starts with a thanks for her support before claiming, we will be moving a family of two from the country of Nicaragua into your home on October 30th. They will need food, toiletries, and transportation. The woman says she was shocked and creeped out over the alleged fraudulent mail. I go back and forth on what the objective is with this mailer. I don't know if they're attempting to harass me or are they trying to rage bait? She claims other Harris supporters in the area have gotten a similar mailer. It's unclear who sent this. There was no political organization or return address listed, but it's indicative of the tension and temperature of this election cycle. A study by the American Psychological Association found 69% of adults feel a great deal of stress over the election. And we found- Who did they poll though? Who did they poll? On that to be the case today in Middleton? Yes, I am feeling stressed about the future of our country, and I think things need to change. To Linfield. I'm nervous because uh, I think it's a close race. To Cambridge. I'm excited to get it done with. I can't wait for it to be over. And that seems to be the one thing most people can agree on. There is so much vitriol and division in this country now. We need. Where is that vitriol and division actually coming from? Uh, those of you that have been on this channel for quite some time know that presumably, I got to say that, I got to say presumably, the negative rhetoric is coming from the left. That's where the division's coming from, at least in my personal opinion. We need to take the temperature down and we need to stop this kind of thing. And voters also tell us they're anxious about the days following the election. This race is so close. Analysts believe it's unlikely to have a clear winner by election night. Which, guys, that is extremely sad to not have an actual winner on election night with all the technology and millions of dollars spent on machines and technology how is it that we do not we will not know who the winner is i'm betting for a landslide guys and those of you that have been around on this channel for some time know you're you're probably thinking the same thing you're thinking for an l slide um so we can wrap this thing up by 2 a.m uh eastern time but uh, this was an absolute hilarious troll. Let me know what you guys think about this. Drop your comments down below. Smash a like button, share, subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.